Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I'm spending money so you don't have to. That's right, we're buying some more overly sponsored products. You really enjoyed the last one to the point it's nearly on half a million views. I'm not sure how it happened, but we're gonna do it again because a lot of you actually suggested even more overly sponsored products that you wanted me to try out. So here I am, I'm doing the thing. Let's order some things. So if you haven't seen part one, go check that out and if you're brand new to this channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if that's come part of our weird magical online family but let's go because she's got money to spend she doesn't but i'm going to do it and take one for the team okay then so i think one of the highly requested overly sponsored products that was mentioned a lot in the comments was raycons had i have heard of raycons personally whilst reading these comments no but i tell you what since i've heard of them i'm seeing ads everywhere there's raycons coming out of every video on the internet so let's go on to raycon global wireless audio for all what fellow audio lovers are saying oh what's brenda got to say so she said that she bought these for herself and a pair for her daughter for christmas she never takes them out of her ears they have great sound and a great range now her husband wants a pair and she would definitely recommend them for anyone all right thanks brenda okay so they look like this oh my god they are pricey oh so we've got the everyday earbuds we've got the performer earbuds which look kind of the same except they've moved the Raycon logo and then they've got the everyday headphones quite expensive for something I'd not heard of so all day comfort hands-free I mean you'd hope so ah help win I don't want to win them I want to buy them that's a very aggressive advertising, just going <laughs> on the screen. Right. Oh my God, they've got 46, or claim to have, 46,000 reviews on the Everyday Earbuds. And apparently they're all five stars. Can I read any of these? No, I can't. So I guess we'll have to review for ourselves. Something that I will mention, actually, is the price point is a fraction of what AirPods are by Apple, which is a big plus, especially if you can't afford such coin on AirPods, even though I love AirPods. But I'm gonna go into Raycons with an open mind because I've never used them. I just don't know a lot about them. So let's go in with an open mind. Now, I think I am just gonna go for the everyday earbud because I don't think I need the performer and I don't need work earbuds, especially as they get a little bit more expensive. So I'm gonna go for the more affordable one. And I think I'm gonna get them in, I can't choose. They're the same price for both colours, I think. So maybe, maybe I get white ones? Right, let's click on those. Tell me to, how to buy them. They're still going here with all their five star ratings. Oh, I found them. Okay, they do have a lot of ratings. Hmm, okay. Right, let's just order them. I don't want to be influenced. Okay, so I want one pair. I'm gonna add them to cart. And then, do I have a discount code? Yes, I have, because you know what? Summer vibes. Right, I'm gonna fill out all of my billing information and my shipping information, and I'll be right back. Okay then, that's my Raycons, my everyday earbuds ordered. So that cost me 57 pounds and nine pence, and they gave me a discount of 11 pound 90, and the shipping was free. Woohoo, we love free shipping. So I guess I can go ahead and order the next overly sponsored product. Next up, a lot of you guys wanted me to try Casetify. Now, as someone that is a big fan of phone cases, I was like, yeah, I will. And I've seen a phone case, actually, that you can customise and put your own pictures on. Am I going to make a really meme -y phone case? Yes. Yes, I am. But let's go to their website. So, Casetify. Let's have a little look. Let's go to their website. Show your colours. Go on, then. Okay, customise your new iPhone 12 cases. Okay, I'm not sure that's the one that I want, but let's have a look at their website. It's very like vibrant. It's giving me Instagram vibes. Customization. So MagSafe compatible. Well, I need one of those because I have a MagSafe charger. How can I help you? By going away and stop blocking the website. Right, so where's the ones that I can just put pictures on? Okay, here we go. 45 pounds, oh, oh, 
45 pounds. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. MagSafe compatible, ultra impact, or just the compatible impact. I think I'll just take the impact one. Right, so we can do this on a MagSafe compatible case. It's a bit more expensive, but is what it is. Okay, so device, iPhone, yep. And then it's case, yep, layout. Oh, check out all these layouts. Now, what, what do I want on here? Maybe lots of little pictures. Wrong iPhone. Oh, bam. Max as the large phone. Yep, let's save that design. Oh, hang on. Drag and drop the photos. Well, I haven't I haven't arranged any photos. Harry Potter memes. I mean <laughs> Shall I just get Mr. Bean slash Voldemort's face blown up? Or maybe you have your mother's eyes. Are we just looking at Harry Potter memes now? Is this my life? You know what I prefer over Harry Potter memes? Cat memes. Cat bread. Yes, this is the one. Right, device, let me pick my phone. iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're gonna go with the MagSafe compatible case. Yep. And then I'm gonna go to layout. We're gonna pick eight. Now, have I picked the most beautiful kitty cats with bread around their head for you? I've lovingly hand selected these and they're gonna be beautiful. So we're gonna have a little cat there. We're gonna have this beauty. Oh yeah, this is great. This cat's the cutest. So yeah, pride of place. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for, oh, so you can't see that cat head. So that one's gonna have to move. Can I move it? Can I just add a different kitty there? Maybe this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need this cat. What cats haven't we used? We haven't used that one. And then, I mean, I guess this one doesn't really matter. But there we go. I mean, do we want more of a cat head here? This one? Will you look better there? Hmm. Maybe we will move that one. Yeah, and then put this one here. That is exquisite and a piece of art. Right, I'm going to save my design right now. Right. Design is saved, check out. Okay, it's billing time. I'm gonna fill my information in and I'll let you know when it's all ordered. Right, that is all ordered. That was a really nice, smooth checkout process. That phone case, custom kitty cats with little slices of bread around their face, 56 pounds. And it's MagSafe compatible, which means I'm happy because I have one of those charges that my phone goes <laughs> Too. So yeah, free shipping. Don't know when it's going to arrive, but I am very excited to have the most stylish kitty cat bread phone case in town. Don't be jealous. Right, next item, I suppose. The next one is a company called Inkbox. Now, I'm very intrigued about these. I think I might have been sent some stuff from Inkbox years ago in PR, but I've never ordered from them and I've never seriously been a customer. So let's have a look at Inkbox. So Inkbox are for basically temporary tattoos, but let's get to their website first and it can explain all about it. So here it is. Let's have a look. Oh, 20% off my order. Oh, do I have to sign up for that? Mm. Right, let's go to the ink box shop. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I could be here for a very, very long time because they are honestly, I mean, that one's nice. That one has grabbed my attention. It's a star solar system for 14 pounds and it's a temporary tattoo. I don't know how long this one lasts for, but I guess it will tell me. I think it's up to a couple of weeks, you know? So I'm gonna add that to my cart, but then I'm quickly gonna go to how it works because I feel like you might want to know. So yeah, it lasts from one to two weeks, whereas most temporary tattoos tend to last a couple of days and yeah it gradually fades as your skin exfoliates so they're waterproof and they look real um they do look pretty real from the things that i'm seeing so let's go find another tattoo or two and check out let's see if there's any other cute ones should i go to best sellers i feel like that's a good place to start um what would i like to put onto my body oh there's a little totoro hmm choices choices many of them i mean this one's quite nice a little a little fish oh it's on sale as well okay i will have that add to cart and then i think i might pick one more 
Oh, there's a finger pack so you can get t finger tattoos. Oh, go on then. These look quite fun. I think the ones that I would wear out of these are probably the Just Shine pack. Okay, add to cart. That's enough tattoos for me. Let's check out. Right, do I want to purchase tattoo moisturiser? No, do I want... Oh, freehand ink. I can t just tattoo myself. Right, so this is going to cost me £40. Do I want to spend... Maybe I'll get rid of the fish. No. Hmm. I will get rid of the fish just to make it a little bit cheaper. So I've got some finger tattoos and I've got a nice star solar system. So that costs £29. Let's check out and I'll be right back. I'm not going to lie... 11 pound shipping for something that I think might be flat. Even Raycons gave me free shipping, but here we are. I'm gonna pay it, do it for the art. Okay, I gotta burp. Uh. Oh yeah, that's how we order products on this channel. Made it weird, made it weird. Process, Ooh, magic. Okay, that's all ordered from Inkbox. I will say it went from a tasty £29 to then a little bit of a uh, £48 for two tattoos. So I was a little bit like, mm, makes me like shiver with like, mm, yeah, allergic to prices like this for things that should be flat. Maybe they're not flat. Anyway, less about that, on to the next item. I want to order some food! Next up is a subscription box for authentic Japanese candy. Now, I am personally a lover of sweets and candy and I want to test some that I've never tried before. So there is a company called Boksu. Boksu. How do I spell that? Like that? Oh, there we go. Right, so Boksu, the number one Japanese snack box. And there's something that I know that I like and it is snacks and subscription boxes so maybe i'll just turn into like a snack channel so here we go authentic snacks delivered to you from japan and oh okay let's just get started right a taste japan from home what's included oh i don't even know how oh this isn't too bad you know 20 to 24 snacks and tea with a little snack booklet for 40 pounds well 40 dollars that's a lot of snacks oh do i want three i just want one don't i just monthly. Can I just get one box? What if I really like the snacks? I'm like, I wish I'd got the three month one. And then we could open some snacks on the channel. What if it's good? I mean, what if it's not? And then I'm stuck with like three boxes, but she's tempted. Just a little, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> no, I'll behave. If it's good, I will consider subscribing. Right. So, the classic Boxu subscription build every one month, so I will have to cancel this. Um, and then there's a route route. Uh, I'm, I'm British, route is what I say, but I watch... Anyway, 98 pence for package protection. Yeah, I am going to keep that on. It's only 98 cents. Upgrade now and save $120. Stop tempting me with your good things. Right, let's check out. We're going to process it in USD. That's fine. Give me those sweet snacks. Pa -ding. Oh, it is free shipping. A bargain. A bargain. I think I'm very excited about this one because food. <laughs> okay, we're all ordered from Boxu. Very excited. Cannot wait to snack. We will snack together when it arrives. Okay then, that's everything ordered and we're going to hand it over to Future Cherry where everything has arrived and we're going to unbox it. Okay, my owls have arrived with the owl post. I have got all of the things ready to unbox. So I think also, quick one, we've got a bit of an angle change because we've got another camera over here so that we can film all closely and nicely for you so that you can get right in there and open with me. It's the best experience, yes. So I'm gonna do things a little bit differently from last time. I'm gonna unbox and review per item. So which one am I gonna do first? I'm gonna do Casetify. So here it is, Casetify. I'm enjoying their packaging, not gonna lie. I have scribbled out my address with gaffer tape. How do I open this? This one I forgot that I ordered and I'm very excited because I've... <laughs> I remember that it's bread cats and I really hope it's as wonderful as I was imagining. Oh, it comes in a box. This is nice. 
Okay, so first things first, they definitely have attention to detail when it comes to packaging, which is very nice. Oh, they've got a, a zippy zippy tab, which I personally appreciate. Oh, yeah. Always satisfying. I wish more companies did those. Okay, so it says, hello, this box is made from plants, not plastics. Recycle me after opening. I shall indeed. Right, so... Think. <gasps> okay, are we ready? What are all these? We've got a little note from Case to Fry. We've really made a case for. Oh, you've really made a case for yourself. One that speaks your style is tough enough to handle whatever life throws at you. I mean, that's a bit deep for a phone case. And then there's a little package with so many wipes. This is very friendly of them. So they've sent me six cleansing wet wipes to sanitize my phone. I mean, kind of thoughtful. I thought it was gonna be some like manuals or some information about what it's made out of, but no, little wet wipes, that's pretty cool. And then here we have got, I don't think I'm ready to open it. It's gonna be a masterpiece. bought a MagSafe one as well so it can clunk to my um charger that I've got that is amazing my favorite thing about this is this little cat in the corner looks like my old cat Charlie he's sadly not with us anymore he's in the little cat playground in the sky but it does look like my old cat Charlie and this is hilarious I love this and it just makes me want to buy a lot of cats to be honest i'm gonna put this on my phone um i have my phone right here let's take that off and try it on for size Ooh. oh probably should have put the button side in first hang on i'm not good at phone cases Ooh. please excuse my mucky paw prints on my screen oh we're in oh she feels <laughs> I enjoy that. Um, I enjoy it a lot. It feels very nice. It does feel like it's going to last a long time. Do the buttons work at the side? Yes, they do. Um, oh, it does say at the side, I'm made of 50% recycled material. I'm not sure how much I like that being printed onto the side. Like, surely it could have just told me that in their little leaflets. Like, great you've kind of printed on the side of my phone case without asking <laughs> that's a bit weird that's a bit weird right that they've just it's like they've trademarked but they haven't it's a bit preachy in it it's a it's it's a little bit preachy it's like i'm recycled it's like great and i love that it's more eco but I don't need it printed on the side of my phone case. That is fine. I wanted the cats printed on my phone case, but yeah, not not the best pleased with that. But I mean, I can't even take it off. That's the thing. If it was a sticker that I could peel off, that would be nice. Overall though, it's a great fit on the phone. The buttons work. The print quality is actually really good. Um, and it is perfect. It's got a lot of cats in, their little bread, <laughs> their little bread hats. Oh, why does that make me so happy? It just does. I've quickly gone ahead and got my MagSafe phone charger. Now, I know this is nothing to do with the sponsored products of this video, but I do absolutely recommend this if you've got a MagSafe phone. So good, it's for Apple Watch, AirPods, and phone. Uh, one of my favorite purchases for my bedside table. Anyway, so with MagSafe, when you've got your phone, um, because it does have these little MagSafe circles in them, they basically attach themselves and float with a magnet. So just testing that this case does actually work. It's currently not plugged in, so it's not gonna charge, but it should still magnetize. And let's see if it does. Oh, there you go. It's kind of clunked into place. And as you can see, that is fully magnetized. So yeah, the MagSafe does work, which is pretty cool. It's just like witchcraft. It's like, oh, just sits there. And it charges like that with no cables. It's 
We're in the future, guys. We are living in the future. So I guess my final thoughts on this case, would I recommend it? Yes, it's a bit of fun, especially, you know, you could put your pictures of your friends, your family, your pets, maybe some memes. You could put any pictures you wanted on this case. And I do love the customizable nuss of it. I think it was really fun. I had a lot of fun picking those cat pictures. It fits nicely. It feels nice as well. The MagSafe works. Do I feel confident that if I dropped this, it would protect my phone? Yeah, I think I would actually. The only thing that I will complain about is that little bit of print on the side. I think they didn't even mention that in the ordering process, at least from what I remember seeing. Just think that's a little bit cheeky to put that on the side of a phone case, especially when you're paying to fully customize it. Little bit odd to me that they made that decision. But apart from that, it's a cracking phone case and yeah, <laughs> just bread cats. That's, this is gonna be my main phone case from now on and everyone's gonna be like, why, why have you got loads of cats with bread around their face on your phone? And I'm just gonna be like, don't worry about it. It's fine, we, we don't need to discuss it today. <laughs> Okay, so next up is this packet which says here for now, which we're assuming is the ink box packet. It doesn't say ink box on it. I have taken the label off, so maybe it said it on there. But let's open it on up. Oh, it's got another one. Oh, all these companies with their pull tabs. Very satisfying indeed. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Have a little look. Is the leaving thing in there? No. So nice cardboard packaging. Oh, oh, free stickers. Do you like a free sticker? So we've got a little ink box sticker there, which is in a rainbow colours, which is nice. I think I ordered two tattoos, didn't I? Yes. Now I swear I've seen these before and they used to be packaged a lot differently. So here is one that is the solar systems, like all the planets and everything, which is really cute. Where do I want to put this? I think I'm going to have to put this down here. <laughs> okay. I'm a bit nervous because we've got to apply. Okay. So we've got a primer wipe. We've got pre-application and how to do everything. And then I think the other ones might be in here. Are these like the little finger packet ones? Yeah, ooh, look at all those. There's loads of them. How fun. That's very fun. I think I might save the little finger ones to do it a different time. Shall we just go, go big or go home? And let's do the, the big spacey one. I'm quite excited. This is gonna make me want another tattoo. I can feel it. But I promise myself, I'm probably not going to get another tattoo until I hit a million subs. So subscribe if you want me to get another tattoo. Okay then, so here we go. Step number one, it says to prep skin with a primer wipe, which is this over here. Uh, it's a biodegradable wipe as well, actually, which is pretty cool. So it says exfoliate area with primer wipe for 30 seconds and then wait 30 seconds for the area to dry. And then we've got to peel off the tattoo backing. Okay, there's the tattoo backing. It says only peel off this side. Um, and then we place the tattoo onto skin with sticky side down and then peel off the tattoo border. There is a border that I can see. And then it says, press down tattoo to ensure the adhesive is fully stuck to avoid wrinkles. We don't want no wrinkles. And then I've got to leave it on for 60 minutes. So it says, remove everything once you've done that and you've left it for an hour. Your tattoo will look light blue or green at first, but it will darken over 24 to 36 hours to dark blue to black, depending on your skin. Okay, let's get on with it then. So I've got my primer wipe. So these, as it says, are temporary tattoos and they do look really realistic, which I'm quite excited about. Oh, dropped it. So I'm just cleaning. I'm assuming this is to get all the excess oils off your skin because it needs to stick to it. I've got sensitive skin, guys. I'm rubbing a bit hard, so don't worry about my skin going pink. I just, I'm very, I bruise like a peach. Right, so I think that's enough. It says, wait for it to dry for 30 seconds. So I'm currently in a heat wave, so I don't think I even need to wait that long, to be honest. It's dry already. Right, so let's open pack it up. I do like that these are fully sealed to make sure nobody has touched them before. Firstly, which way round do I want this? Um, do I want it that way round? I think that's quite nice having the smaller planets go towards my wrist. 
Let's do it that way. I've got a good feeling about that way. So we take this out of the packet. Oh, the pressure to, oh, that was a little bit stuck. Okay, so we've got to take the backing off and then you peel off the border apparently. Okay, right, ooh, there's the backing. Okay, right, let's, oh, this is making me nervous. How am I gonna get it straight? This is probably better for a friend to help you with. Just, once this is kind of on, it's, did I just lay that really neat? Um, I think I might have. You're probably not meant to peel it up again, but... Okay, let's go for there. <laughs> it's going to be on my body for a while now. Right, so... And then it says that I can peel the border off. There we go. Right, the border's coming. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, and then I'm going to squish that back down. So that needs to stay on my arm now for an hour. That was nice and easy to apply. It's just stick the sticker on and hope for the best. So it says press down to make sure it's fully stuck, which I have done. We've, we've got no wrinkles, which is lovely. I'm just gonna press over all the planets just to make sure that they're really nice and stuck on there. And boop, 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 boop. This is gonna look, this is gonna make me want planets. I know it is, I love planets, I love space. Okay, avoid excessive movement and sweating. We're in a heat wave, I can't avoid that. <laughs> Cover the tattoo with loose clothing for the first night as the ink can transfer onto other parts of the body. Didn't think about this, it's very hot at the moment. So if I lean on my face like that, and I sleep, I would get tattoo on my face. So if you are doing these, try to avoid that. <laughs> and it says to avoid exfoliating your tattoo until you're ready to remove it and continue to moisturize and drink lots of water. Lovely jubbly, okay, that's nice. I enjoyed that application process. Right, that was super easy to apply. I will see you guys in 60 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, 60 minutes have passed. <laughs> Okay then, it has been one hour and I have still got my tattoo on here. And now I believe we can just peel this off and then it will be blue, but it will develop over the next 24 hours. Now, obviously I can't show you that right this second, but let's just peel, peel this off. I mean, ooh, ooh, look at that detail. Oh, I tell you what. That has applied like a dream. Like most of it's come off this plastic thing as well. It has just completely absorbed it off the plastic and it's now on my arm, which is pretty cool. So this is gonna turn a dark tattoo color over the next 24 to 36 hours. So I'm looking forward to that, but for now I will just let it be blue in all of its glory but i can bend to my arm now which is nice so it does mean that i can't actually shower for another eight hours which is fine it's only midday okay well stuff that i can say is the application process of this was so easy and honestly this is a little bit of fun especially if you don't want to commit to getting a permanent tattoo semi-permanent ones that last a few weeks are super super fun i love it it means that you can constantly be changing your tattoos and if there is one that you find that you like you could then get a permanent one so i think this is really cool i really like the idea of it like tattoos delivered to your door and they're you know it takes two minutes to apply 60 minutes to wait and then peel it off and then you're good to go and then it will last for a while so the tattoo longevity says that depending on where you put the tattoo it will last so we've got it will look fresh for a certain amount of time and then it will look faded for a certain amount of time but they do tend to be up to two weeks uh, except the hand which is something that you'll be washing a lot more than perhaps your thigh for example so yeah i really like this i think they've actually changed how they're applied i have seen this company before and i don't remember them being this easy i remember they used to have some sort of like mesh i think and it's just looked a bit more messy and complicated and i think they used to include like 
tattoo gloves like those so that you wouldn't get anything on your hands whereas this is just so so simple i have nothing bad to say about it i'm really excited to see what it looks like when it develops and don't worry about the pink that you've got around here it's just because i've had a bit of plastic on my arm and i've been moving it a little bit i've enjoyed this i can't wait for this to develop i will put a picture on the screen right now for you so that i can show you what the tattoo looks like when it's not blue but i really like this brand and it's probably something that i would purchase again because it's just very me i mean i've got tattoos I've got one on my wrist i've got my key i've got my lightning bolt here as well i do maybe want one or more in the future i don't know what though so maybe inkbox can help me decide but yeah this is like cool because this is like the kind of like the biggest even though it's a fake tattoo it's like a the biggest tattoo that i've got um because it's a lot longer and bigger than my key so that's pretty cool this would be fun if they did like really big ones that you could do sleeve maybe they do i'm gonna have to have a little look but yeah really fun do i re recommend it yeah i think i do it's very easy and it's just a bit of fun creative fun right let's move on to the next thing okay then next up we have got the next wave that's right these are the raycons the rudely do's <laughs> this is something that i just see everywhere it's weird that i have these this isn't something that i would have bought had it not have been for this video because it is so overly sponsored they sponsor everyone i can't get away from gosh darn raycons but let's have a look um i'm gonna try and pair these as well to my phone without any help from camera and chris because i am an independent woman that's very good at tech right next wave bam the everyday uh, okay so it says now you can block out the noise block out the doubters i wish they said block out the haters that would have been funny um march to your own beat listen to your own sound get it done with Raycon. <laughs> it's so cheesy. <laughs> okay, right. Here they are then. Right. Okay, so Raycon, the everyday E25 Pro true wireless earbuds, which apparently means that they're both individually wireless as opposed to ones that are like wireless but connect to the other. So let's have a look at the back. Premium sound in a compact design. Power your everyday goals. Easy to pair, we'll see about that. Built-in microphone for on-the-go calls. We've got a wireless charging case. Let's just open them on up. Let me get my box opening device. I must say, the box is quite nice. They've got foiling on all four sides. And I am a big fan of foiling, but didn't buy them for the box, so. Right, so it says, now with better sound, you'll never miss a beat. Okay, so firstly, <laughs> I got really excited there. I was like, oh, is there gonna be an Apple sticker in here? No, but we've got the next wave sticker. <laughs> That's not as cool as the Apple stickers. Um, <laughs> but hey it's a sticker i like that they've included one would have been sad if there wasn't one right so we've got some instructions which is good what else have we got in here we've got another little package um your sound your way accessories inside what accessories do we have just the little bud bits oh cables oh i've got a little hangy thing in case i want to hang them off my bag weird and we've got a charger which is a usb to usb c port which is quite nice we like fast charging and then it says discover your perfect fit now i've got small ears so wow look at those i mean how do i know which is my perfect fit um i'm not sure should i no the little ones look like they're too small let's get the raycons out shall we before we start doing that so they do come in quite a nice little case i don't know why but i was expecting these to be bigger they're a lot chunkier than my airpods case but they're a lot shorter they feel nice they got some little lights at the front um they wirelessly charge which is cool so that could work on my wireless charger let's um open them on up Ooh! so here they have it oh 
they got a little light that came on to greet me. Hello. Right, so here they are. Oh, they've already got some... I'm just going to leave the little ones that they come in. These are really weird. They're like little beans for your ears. I feel like they're going to make me look like a bit of a cyborg, but let's see how to pair them. Um, one moment. Hang on. My phone is behind me. <laughs> My very stylish phone. Okay. How does one pair the device? Right. Oh my God, they do a lot of things. Press once for play pause. That's the same as an AirPod. Previous song, press twice. Next song, press twice. Oh, they do different things depending on which earphone they are. Right, quick start guide. Turn on my Bluetooth search. Take your earphones out of the capsule and they will both connect automatically apparently. Right, so they're out of the capsule and then I have to turn on, here we go, Raycon E25 Pro earbuds. And then I think if I click that, I think uh, there was a noise. Are you connected? Yeah, it does say that it's connected. Okay, let's shove these in. Right, so this is left. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, they do feel quite comfy. They kind of, they kind of just, feel, oh. Is there like a transparency mode or do these not have that? So it is quite a weird sensation with these in because I can't really hear anything in my surroundings. Like if cameraman Chris was to talk to me, I couldn't really make it out. I'd have to lip read a little bit as well. Unlike my AirPod Pros, they've got transparency mode, which means that I can still hear everything if I want to around me. So I do feel like my ears are a bit blung, bunged up, but that's just in ears, I suppose. So let's have a little play. I'm gonna play. Billie Eilish NDA, which is her new song, which I've been enjoying. Okay, it is playing. That was really easy to set up. They ain't bad for someone that knows nothing about sound. That's right, good. let me carry on listening. My initial thought is they're very bassy. Like really like boom, boom, boom. Like, but I don't know if that's just Billie's kind of, let's listen to something that's not Billie. Um, let's listen to Cover Me in Sunshine by Pink and her daughter Willow. It's nice and twinkly. It's clear. I mean, the vocals sound nice. Oh, no. <laughs> I've skipped to the chorus and it is like boom, 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 boom. Don't know if I like that that much, but if I turn it down a bit. I'm not offended by it. Like, for considering that these cost maybe a third, maybe even a quarter, third, I think, of the price of AirPod Pros, as a substitute for some wireless, like, things to listen to your music or go running with, they're not that bad for the price, but I wish there was a transparency mode, but I think on some of their other ones they might have. Yeah, but I don't know. Am I gonna be replacing? Wow, I'll just take them out. I'm like, wow, I'm speaking really loud. <laughs> Am I gonna be replacing my AirPod Pros with Raycons? Probably not. They do fit really nice. I think they look a bit futuristic. I'm glad I got the white ones. But from my initial listening, and I will have to spend a bit more time with them, but from my initial listening, for someone that does not know anything about sound or audio, they're a bit thumpy. That's probably my best way to describe it. The vocals sound nice, and when there's no drums or bass kicks or anything, it sounds good, but when drums and like bass come in, it's like <laughs> <laughs> But if you don't care that much about sound, then and you want a cheap pair of wireless, wireless charging ear thing. I don't understand the hype about them. Like anyone watching, do you actually use these as your everyday headphones? I'm intrigued. But for me, I think Apple are definitely still gonna win. But I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a sound engineer or a sound expert or I don't work with sound for a living. So I'm not sure, but as just your everyday, <laughs> just as the everyday customer, which is me. I will say, very easy to set up. Accessories are nice so that you can customize them to your ear fit. They do fit, they feel nice in your ears, 
but having not not having a transparency mode makes you feel a bit like you've got cotton wool in your ears and you can't really hear your surroundings not a fan of that charging looks like it's going to be really easy you could do it wired or you could do it wireless which is cool but I think the most impressive thing was how quick it was to set up. It was add to Bluetooth. Oh, you're done. You're on. Um, so that's pretty good. Packaging was nice, but we don't buy things for packaging. But the unboxing experience is quite nice. I mean, they are small. Are they going to fit in a pocket? Yes, but I do think they would like protrude a little bit. But they'd be perfect for a handbag um, for some train journeys. Um, perhaps if you can't afford premium headphones like AirPod Pros, these might be a nice little alternative for you. They're not bad. They're not amazing. They didn't make me go, wow. When I remember when I first had my AirPod Pros, I was like, whoa, especially when I could use the noise cancellation. It was really, really impressive. And the transparency mode and stuff, I remember being just wowed from the whole experience. Whereas these, it's like, yeah, they play music. They're a little bit bassy, but they sound quite nice. They're compact, they're wireless. I don't think I have really good or bad feedback for it. They're fine. Oh, that's weird. It's got a really like sexy lady that goes power on. Um, I don't know if you're about here. Power on. <laughs> That's really strange. Raycon! It's got a little woman in the airport in the earpieces. Is that what you're doing in there? <laughs> Hello? Raycon! Power on! Um, yeah, there's a sexy lady inside the case. If you ever get these and you just want to open it on up. But um, are they a con or Raycon a con? I don't think so. I think they're just trying to make affordable wireless earbuds, but there are cheaper options out there that probably aren't as bassy as the Raycons. Um, and these are meant to be like the everyday listening. I don't want to be in a club every day. <laughs> Would I recommend them? I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, you should get Raycons. Probably not. I probably wouldn't, but they're all right. Yeah, they're okay. Right. I think that's enough on the Ray J's. I'm very excited about the next one. <sighs> Snack time. This is Boxu. This is a Japanese um, box of snacks, a premium Japanese box of snacks, I may add. And you guys know that I love a good subscription box. So this came pretty promptly considering it's a box. Most subscription boxes take a while. I love the size. It's very compact. It's very nice. I'm gonna just open it on up because I'm really, I'm most excited about this. It's like snacks, Japanese snacks and holy macaroons are you kidding me discover japan through snacks yes please oh a little boxes sticker very nice got a little thank you um oh they've loved discovering delicious snacks from local japanese snack makers and this is the first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of japan so that's very nice and then we've got the culture guide which I think might be the spoiler card. This is so full. <laughs> oh my, there's so many snacks. Why is, I, I was expecting like maybe five, maybe seven, maybe 10 maximum snacks. How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five if you want, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh my god, 20, 21, 22 snacks. <laughs> I feel like I should have made a separate video for this. Right, let's just get straight into the snacking. I don't know what any of this stuff is. There are so many snacks. I genuinely think I can't eat it all, but let's, I want to start off with this little fish thing. Is it going to tell me what it is? Let's have a little look what we got. Show me the little fish packet. Here we go. So this is a puku, sorry for really bad um, pronunciation, by the way, I don't know what any of this is. So it says a puku puku Thai chocolate. So Thai or red snapper are associated with a New Year's celebration um, snack. So it's a chocolate air, airy mousse in a shape of a fish and it's so it's a chocolate wafer okay i love the packaging this is exciting oh it smells good oh, 
It smells so good. Imagine the most delicious mouth-watering chocolate taste, like smell. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like an arrow in a wafer. I want to eat it all. Oh. You've got quite a lot more to eat, I'm afraid. It's really good. Oh my God. I need to move to Japan. Chris Brawl, mate, hit us up. <laughs> That was honestly delicious. I give that a 10 out of 10 for the first snack. Next, we've got red bean donuts. I don't think I like red bean. So these are apparently sweet. Um, they smell really like... There you go. That's the middle of it. They are sweet. They're good as well. Am I gonna have to subscribe to Box Two? <laughs> I think I might. Next one. Ooh, kind of like a sweet, savory. They're like tomato crunchy crisps. So what's really cool is they do tend to give you like duplicates of some things. Those tangy tomato-y things. I don't think they were tomato, but they taste amazing. They gave me two packets of those. We've got two of these Japanese green tea. I'm not gonna open this because I, I need water to make tea, but that's exciting. I actually love green tea, so that's cool. These are little white strawberry, what are you? The world's first chocolate infused strawberry, excuse me? Wow! <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Wow, it's an actual chocolate, it's a, I'm so confused. Oh, it's just gone in. It's got the consistency of just a chocolate. But it tastes like a real strawberry. This is very good. This is a really exciting box. This would be so fun to get with your friends or your family and you have like a taste testing session. I think that would be really cool. Like look, another two packets. So like you could do it with a friend. I don't even know what these are. Also, this book, their culture guide is lovely. It's got a welcome. It's got the seasons of Japan what this these seasons have to offer and then it t goes into detail about what everything is and it also has like is it vegetarian does it contain things like nuts etc and allergens and flavors and stuff so we've got some mochi which look very sweet and really cute i can't open everything in this box and just eat it all it's all exceptional this is a pear fromage biscuit <gasps> Why does everything in Japan smell so good? That is a fancy pear biscuit. This is so fun. So this is edamame and I love edamame. Oh my God, that's good as well. You know what, 10 out of 10 to this box. <laughs> if you love mystery boxes and you love snacks and you're interested in the culture and cuisine of Japan. I give this box like a 10 out of 10 so far, if I'm being completely honest. There's so much in here. I'm just gonna do three more because I will be here all day, the amount of snacks that there are. I want to know what these are, I want to know what these are, and I might try one of these little sweets as well. But there's so much else. There's like a cookie, we've got some sort of, that's so cute, look at that little bear. I don't even know what you are, but it's very, very cute. We've got another little cake thing, got some mochi, some more crackers and everything's just delicious so far. And I'm just like, wow. Okay, let's try these because I do not know what they are. I mean, they look like little donut balls. They definitely smell, I don't know what they smell like. That is so sweet, oh my God. Whoa, they're so light. It's a taste sensation. Okay, and then I wanted to quickly try these. And these are uni rice crackers. So there is mollusks, shellfish. I mean, they smell very savory. It's kind of like a pork scratching. This is a really fun box. I love it. Okay, right. Last one that I'm gonna try. This is a yuzu sake candy. Oh, this candy contains 0.1% alcohol content. So if you're gonna get this box, just look at the contents in case you're gonna do it with kids. It's not gonna get you, it's not gonna get you crunk. Just something to note. So these contain alcohol. They don't smell of anything because it's a hard candy, but they look really sweet. I've never seen candies that shape. That is delicious. I've not tasted anything like most of this stuff in this box. 
that's really yummy oh my god i love everything right my overall thoughts on boxu i was really intrigued because i love boxes i love snacks has it exceeded expectations it absolutely has the little booklet that you can read about everything and tells you about what you're eating slash drinking is really informative and cool i love the pictures of everything as well so that we can kind of recognize it all is this something that i would buy for myself personally if i wasn't filming with it yes i think it would be especially to share with like friends and family it's a really fun box because like i have never tried any of this stuff a lot of this stuff you can't even get here in england or a lot of places i imagine so it is like a taste of things from japan i just said oh we can shop the snacks at the boxu market online well that's pretty cool in case and maybe if there's something that you really like you can then go and purchase some more of this is very very cool and you can discover where all your snacks are from this is cool there's like a map of the islands of japan but it's showing where all of these snacks have come from which is very cool i give this box genuinely a really high rating i want to give it a 10 out of 10 genuinely everything's really tasty can't wait to share this with other people i think this would make a beautiful gift for somebody if i had received this for my birthday i would have been so happy the ordering process was easy it arrived really nicely it wasn't battered or anything just the thought of everything like you know the thank you card you get a sticker inside of it you know the little booklet and everything it's just very well curated and it's been really enjoyable so i think i do recommend this and i kind of want to order some more if i was to order some more of these would you like me to do videos of them or would you like me to do them on maybe instagram tv or reels or something let me know either way i'm definitely going to enjoy all of these snacks yes i found something that i really enjoy <laughs> and that i would yeah i would purchase this myself which i did purchase it myself but i will continue to be purchasing it myself <laughs> okay so there we have it i have unboxed and reviewed all of the things in today's video i would love your thoughts on everything today is there something that you have personally been using that we spoke about today and you've been enjoying or you agree with my thoughts also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up and if there's anything that you would like to see me buy and try so you don't have to in the future leave a comment down below if there's any overly sponsored products that you would like to see me take a little look at and review for you i really enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed it too i'm gonna go eat all those snacks because <laughs> they're really good i think that's my favorite thing that i've discovered from one of these videos is boxu very tasty and also my tattoo is it's developing which is pretty exciting what else did we talk about? My phone case is still on with its little kitty cats. Yeah, Raycons, they're, they're going to a new home. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna see more of these, do let me know and do give it a thumbs up because it really does help my channel out. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, bye. Snack time. <laughs>